Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today is Monday, August 31st. It is the last day of the month, the last Monday of the month. And I am your boy, Christian Israel, and you are tuned into the new Creation Capital Podcast. This is a place where we discuss what happens in the world today, the stock market, and yes, digital assets. This is the one-stop shop for you to get everything that you need in your day for your Christ and crypto. Because as I love to say, and you guys know it, Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future because in him, you are a new creation, guys. Welcome to episode 177. And I have this topic that I, that I'm going to be honest, just annoys me. But I think it's closer when we're talking about the overall, let me shut my door. When we're talking about the overall aspect of Christ and crypto, I think this is actually an important subject in here. This is why I'm touching on it. We're talking about California takes a step towards slavery reparations. Yes, slavery reparations. California. Just going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, if you are new to this channel... <laughs> oh, boy, what a topic. If you guys are new to this channel, please hit that like button. Please subscribe, comment below. You know I love the amens or whatever comments you put today. Please keep it respectful no matter what your opinion is on this subject. But I would love for you to converse with me. I would love for you to converse with me. Please converse with me. I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing you all. I read every single comment in the section. I either like and give you the heart or I comment back. So if you're down for a discussion, please hang out with me. So before we get started... I want to say that ETH is starting to pump. Just give you a slight notice. We know ETH has been pumping before everything. Chainlink, it's been Chainlink, ETH, then everything else. So Chainlink pumped over the last five days. It's now having a small retrace. It got down to $12, shot back up to 18 almost 19 and now it's down to 16 But ETH was just up 7%, and now it's up 5.63% over the last 24 hours. So we will see what happens on this last day of the week. Bitcoin dominance is down to 59%. So we will see. Tomorrow is September 1st. There's been a lot of rumors flying. So we will see what happens in the next 24 to 48 hours. Particularly me, I think the next 10 days. So without further ado, guys, let's jump on into today's show. So this is not just on Bloomberg. I'm going to drink some coffee, man, while you guys read that. Man, all right, so good old California, good old California, oh boy, you know, this is a state that I used to love, and it wasn't that long ago, you know, we're talking 2015, 2016, Cali was, I think, one of the greatest states, to be honest, but as I lived there, I, I began to see it fall and apart, you got Skid Row, there you got homeless. I've never seen so many homeless people. I've never seen so many people that can just go grab drugs and do them wherever they want and be okay. And I've never seen so many poor people next to so many rich people. Some of the wealthiest people in the world live in California and some of the poorest people in the world also live in California. Okay, first world poor, right? I just, oh man. And so when I saw this topic, when I saw this article, California moves to consider reparations for slavery. I mean, this was just a couple days. This was Saturday. It blew my mind. Now, we've been, they've been talking about this for a couple of years now. But here, the Senate actually supported creating the nine member commission on a, I love when they say bipartisan vote, 33 to 3. How bipartisan is that when there's probably like four Republicans out of, or probably, I'd say eight Republicans out of the 40, out of the 36 that are there? So five voted? Yeah, that's because they want to keep their seat. The measure returns to the assembly for the final vote before lawmakers adjourn for the year on Monday. So, the, by the way, did you hear that? For the year. Lawmakers are done for the year starting tomorrow. 
though assembly members overwhelmingly already approved an earlier version of the bill. It says here, here's a quote, let's be clear, chattel slavery, both in California and across our nation, birthed a legacy of racial harm and equality, I'm sorry, and inequity that continues to impact the conditions of black life in California. It's the Democratic, Democratic senior Holly Mitchell of Los Angeles. So now I'm going to tell you, I used to live in Los Angeles and not once in Los Angeles, not once in Los Angeles did I feel that the color of my skin, by the way, I am black and Filipino. Okay. For all purpose beings, if you look at me and you don't, and you're just trying to put me in a peg, you'll call me black. The only time I've heard people ask me if I was Filipino are Filipinos. So the normal person in America's racially baited country will look at me and say I'm black. This stuff is really starting to get on my nerves about this racial harm and, and inequity that continues to impact the conditions of black life in California. So I'm going to tell you this. I'm a black man for purposes of this conversation or purposes of I'm of Kamala Harris being black. I'm, I have more black in me than Kamala Harris, who is like 15 percent black. But for the purposes of the, the, the running and of president, she is, quote unquote, a black woman. OK, so if she's a black woman, I'm a black man. All right. With that said, I have dealt with racial stuff in smaller in my hometown specifically. I've been. I've been hit by the cops. I've been put down, but I've never been shot. I've never been tased. Um, I've never been punched. I've had a little excessive force. I agree with that. In college and in my town, I'm a sudden an embarrassment, but I've always followed the rules. I've been arrested. I've had charges dropped. I've been identified as the wrong person. Things happen. But I've never been beaten. I've never been tased. I've never even been called bad words by the cops. I felt like maybe the cop in general was just over aggressive. I think because they're a cop, to be honest. I had think I really don't think it. I mean, there's been there's some idiots out there. I agree. There's always bad apples. But for me to say, as a black man, my life is harder in America. I can't say that. I can say as a black man, once you enter the justice system, then we have issues. I would agree with that. I think once you enter the justice system as someone who does not have money, you are in trouble. I think if you're a, a Latino and you got money, you're going to be better. You're black, you got money. And that's kind of how the, anybody who knows the justice system is based around finance anyway. That's why you have the bond system. That's why your name is in all capital letters because it is a corporation. We won't go down that in the maritime law. We won't go into the to what the actual justice system is, right? And lawyers and esquire. We know that even even if you're not in in, in legal court, law court, even in civil or family court, if you're poor, it's harder. But to say because you're black, your life is harder. I can't roll with that. And the closer we get to the elections, the more I just want to speak up about it because I am annoyed at these statements. Why would you give me reparations for someone I never knew that might have been a slave 150 years ago? All that tells me is that you want me to go, oh, poor, woe is me. Woe is me. To me, this is about kill, still, and destroy. Kill, still, and destroy, which is what the devil wants to do. In this country, which is based on Christianity, the four founders, more than 90% of them had a seminary degree or were pastors reverence or clearly were moving away. There was only a few people of only a couple. And those are the ones these leftists like to point out. There was only a few who did not believe in Jesus Christ. Oh, by the way, for those who talk about Washington, yeah, he, he freed his own slaves when he was old enough. So that guy right there, or, Benj or Benjamin Franklin, like, I won't go into a history lesson for you guys. There's no point in that. And here's the craziest thing. Here's, the, here's another crazy thing. Although before the Civil War was officially a free state, Mitchell listed legal and judicial steps state officials took 
at the time to support slavery in southern states while representing blacks. Okay? We're going to point that out. To support slavery also while, I'm sorry, repressing blacks. That's what they think. So this, this Democratic senator also cited disproportionate homeless unemployment involvement in the criminal system, lower academic performance, and higher health risks during the corona, corona, corona you know, the beer flu pandemic. So here's my thing. Okay, this is my thing. This is my thing. Why would we give 40 acres and a mule, as it was said, promised to free slaves were delivered to the sentence to those slaves today? We would be billionaires. I hear far too many people say, well, I don't own slaves. That was a long time ago. Well, you inherited wealth and you can inherit the debt that you owe African-Americans. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I, I. Okay, so this is why, one, I'll just say it. I don't care. This is why I'm never, ever, 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 ever voting Democrat ever again. Ever again. Never again. Because they want me to sit back and say, oh, I'm sorry, government, help me. Because my parents, 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 parents probably were slaves. No, my dad chose his decisions. My grandfather did his decisions. We're all dealt a crappy deck at some point in time in our life. Yeah, there's some rich people out there. I get it. I get it. There's, there's some rich and there's some poor. But what does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with Bill AB3121? Some people, is it because I'm poor that I turn to drugs? Is it because I'm poor that I go and commit crime? I mean, AOC says the reason people are looting is because they need those $1,000 Gucci belts and purses. Like, stop making excuses. Again, I have been arrested. You don't see me making it. It, it is what it is. I can tell you all day, innocent, doesn't matter. That None of that stuff actually matters anymore, right? But here's the point. Now I run a company. When people said, oh, woe is you. No, don't be sorry. Don't be sad for me. Be sad for me if I live in a state of mental slavery. Be sad for me if I want to blame everybody about everything. That's when you should be sad for me. Be sad for me if I don't believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I'm a slave servant to the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. I am not fearful of people. I am not a slave to the system. In fact, I think if you even accepted this from them, you should, you should be insulted that, that these people, if you are a black man or woman, you should be insulted that these people say you can't earn anything unless it's given to you. That's what they want. You're not good enough to earn it. You're not good enough to work for it. So let me give it to you because unless I give it to you, hey, black person, you're going to be homeless. You're going to be unemployed. You're going to be in the system. You're not smart enough. Just like Joe Biden said, even poor kids and black kids can be smart as white kids. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. I think there are people who put themselves in a situation that is their choice. That is their choice. That is their choice. That is their choice. Now, I've met friends who have never left their block and have felt at some point in time they had to sell drugs or they had to do this. You don't have to. Now, again, the Democratic Party is all about destroying the nuclear family, just like Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter group, I don't care what you say, they are not for black people. They are for themselves. There was a tweet yesterday, okay? There was a tweet yesterday. We're going to go to my tweeter. And as much as, much as uh, I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. It was Charles Hawkinson of Cardano. He tweeted to Brad Garlinghouse yesterday, okay? Let's see, did he take it down? Oh, no, we put it up. Okay, it's still there. So Brad Garlinghouse said, it's up to each and every one of us to continue calling out systemic racism. MLK spoke 57 years ago today about a more just and equal world for all. 
and we will not give up the fight. Who is we? By the way, Brad, I'm an XRP Ripple guy, but who is we? Brad, you went to Harvard. Anyway, Black Lives, hashtag Black Lives Matter. Brad and Charles Hawkinson says this, and he is so woke, but I don't know how good this is for his company. Brad, maybe you should advocate ending the war on drugs instead of a Marxist movement. I think it would be a lot more effective in, in actually improving the lives of the weakest among us. Now, I agree with that. Now, if you go to Black Lives Matter, let's see if I can find their actual website here. Oh, let's see here. Uh, I want to find out what we believe, okay? Hold up. Let me, let me go here what we believe okay so here is their actual website okay blacklivesmatter.com what we believe black lives matter begins a call to action response to state sanctioned violence state sanctioned violence and anti-black racism so state sanctioned so the state is saying basically it is okay to kill black people that's what the state says all right I'm just going to put that out there. Black people all over the world, starting with Trayvon Martin, George Killer, George Zimmerman, by the way, was not white. We're going to point that out. I'm just going to point that out. Okay. So let's see here. Our continuum is, the, is to liberation for all black people means we are continuing the work of our ancestors, fighting for our collective freedom because it's our duty. What freedom do black people not have today? Again, I am a black person. I know I'm ranting this morning on this Monday. That's because I don't really want to talk about the charts. We're going to talk about what is going on in the world today. What, if you are a black person right now, right now, and you watch this, I don't know how many black folks watch watch my stuff, right? We probably hate, probably, probably don't have a lot. A lot of people probably hate what I say. Because normally, if you are part of Black Lives Matter, you are probably not in your Bible. And I know that I'm assuming. I know I'm assuming. But you can't, you, I feel like both of these movements don't work together. So what, let me know how oppressed you are. Let me know how you oppressed you are. Now, I would say the school system oppresses people. The public school system is oppressing because it teaches what the government wants you to know, not how to actually make it in this world. I think we have an issue there. I would agree with that. There is oppression in this country. It is oppression of the education system. It is oppression of the mind. Not of your color. We are guided by the fact black lives matter regardless of actual perceived sexual identity. What does that mean? What is perceived sexual identity? Someone help me. Gender identity, gender ex gender expression, economic stability, disability, religious beliefs or disbeliefs, immigrant status or location. Okay, if this is all about black people, where's the immigrant? I mean, you're talking Italians, Polish people, Venezuelans, Filipinos, Mexicans. I mean, that's not just black folks. We make a sp we make space for gender, transgender brothers and sisters to participate and lead. And lead. There's your real agenda right there. Let's continue. We are self-reflexive and do the work required to dismantle Cisgender privilege and uplift black trans folks, especially black trans women who continue to be disproportionately impacted by trans agnostic antagonistic violence. Okay, what happened to the Black Lives Matter? All of a sudden, now we're talking about gay rights instead. Trans, black women trans. I don't even know what that is. How can you be a black woman and a trans? I thought a transgender, someone... That a transgender means you think you're another gender. So if you're a woman, but you think you're a trans, does that mean you're, you're technically a man? I mean, mentally anyway? Because we know we know that biologically you're born two ways, man, woman. Now, I was talking with the girlfriend, and we had a discussion. I will never judge. That's between you and God, however you mentally think you are. Okay? If you think that you can only be with men, good for you. If you think you can only be with women, good for you. I could tell you, you're either born with ovaries or you're not. You're either born with the male part or you're not. Male, female. He created them. He created both of them to become one. 
Now, everything else becomes med medical and mental. Just my personal opinion, right? And that's, that's the, if, you, if you're on the authority of God and you trust in the word of God, that's what it is. We build a space that affirms black women and is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which men are centered. Okay, how do we go from talking about Trayvon Martin up here being shot and killed, right? Ferguson, here, anti-black, Mike Brown. And now here's the real topic. Black trans women, men are bad. This is right here. This is really, so is this really about the black man? Or is it about tearing down the black man? Because men are centered. Men, not white men here. They're not saying white men. They're not saying Mexican. They're saying men. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure required by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another, especially to the degree that mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. Mothers, parents, and children. They don't want men in the household. They don't want the family as the Bible states. Right there. This is on their website. They don't want the family, the Bible states. Man, God, man, wife, children. This is the number one issue in America right now. It is not, and this is, to be honest, during slavery. During, let's go back to slavery. During slavery. That is how the slaves broke up the families. They split the father from the mother and the child. All slavery, black, white, Mexican, wherever the slavery was around the world, the number one thing was to break up the family so they can control them. They can control them. So right here, they want to disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure. That is God, man, I'm sorry, God, husband, wife, child. That is it. That is it. This is their agenda. So when you see California takes a step towards slavery reparations, what they're she's really talking about is not oppressing blacks and Black Lives Matter. Here, this is not about Black Lives Matter. This is about transgender women taking away men out of the household and destroying everything America was built on. That, according to Charles Hawkinson, and I agree, is a Marxist movement. So people who do not look into this, read. do tell me, I have read it right here to you. Again, this is just my opinion, guys. I It's just my opinion, right? You let me know what you think, because I have read to you. This is their website, what we believe. What we believe. We foster a queer affirming network. We foster gay. We focus on gay. When we gather, we do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking. Instead of being a normal male and female, we don't want to be that. We want to use he, she, they, them, us, multiple people. Like, I, I was working on my master's and doctoral in forensic psychology, right? My, my oppressed self went to grad school because I'm so oppressed. I went to a private grad school. By the way, me and my mom were homeless when I was a baby, like three, four, five, six, seven years old, that age range, right? We were homeless. So I didn't grow up with money at all, right? But now my mom runs her own business. I run my own business. My mom was a first generation immigrant from the Philippines. My dad and my grandfather, both in prison, that whole side of my family, not everybody, but most of them haven't done well for themselves. But I chose a different path. I chose a different path. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I need to give you, you know what? You know why I'm fired up? You know why I'm fired up? Here's why I'm fired up. Because of Isaiah 34, Isaiah 34, 14. Isaiah 34, 14.
I'm going to look for their logo when I read this to you. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Right here. Okay. See this thing right here? I'm going to read this to you. Wildcats were met, will meet with wolves. The goat demon will cry to its kind. Yes, the night monster will settle there and find itself a resting place. That's Isaiah 34, 14, talking about the demon goat. Demon goat. Demon goat. Here's what the demon goat is. When I type in demon goat, this is what the demon goat is. Do you see that? That is the demon goat. In the Bible, in the end times, the demon goat will reveal itself. The wolves will hang with the wolves. Lilith is what's described there, will bear its eggs and its goats. That is what it is. And I can't find the other thing that I am looking for right now. But for now, 3414 talks about the demon goat. And when you look at that, I really wish I could find it in here for the logo. If you turn this logo to the right, you can see it. And I, I can see, obviously, that Google is not allowing that. Let's see here. Demon goat logo. I don't think it's going to, it's not going to show it. Nope, it's not going to show it on here. It's on my Instagram. Or not my Instagram, my Twitter. Anyway, that is that. 3414 has got me fired up because it talks literally about the demon goat, which we just saw. Demon goat Isaiah 3414. Look it up. Look it up. Isaiah 34, 14. The desert creatures, goat demons, and the she-devils. She's talking in the end times, what we're at right now. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, guys. I know it's a longer episode than normal, but man, don't fall for the trap. Definitely my young, black, educated brothers and sisters. Don't fall for the trap. Please don't. I see too many people, like Biden said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Yeah, because they don't think we can think for ourselves. Think for yourself, my young, educated brothers and sisters, period. Don't let what happened 150 years ago affect you now. In other words, don't be dumb. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't let them treat you like you're dumb because you're not. You're not. That's why they said the most dangerous thing to Democrats is a young, educated black man. That's the most dangerous thing to Democrats. Go back. Watch the Democratic Convention and then watch the Republican National Convention. Listen to the message. Listen to what is said. One is preaching hate, hate, hate. The other is preaching love, peace, in America. This is the greatest country we've ever, ever. Yeah, everyone has their wounds. Everybody. Would you go and make your mom, because she's messed up as a parent, your dad is messed up as a parent, I have messed up as a parent, we all have. But what are you going to do about it? What are you going to teach your kids? Are you going to teach your kids, woe is me, and you need the government to give you everything? Or are you going to teach whatever you put your mind to, however hard you work, you can make it. I will never, ever listen to someone who makes two, three hundred million dollars a year talking about they are all oppressed. Ugh. Anyway, this video is probably going to get canceled. So it will be up on my podcast. I put it on Publish OX. I also put it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Anchor. I've got an actual podcast. So if this video is not there, go find it. It's probably going to get canceled. You know why? Because I'm speaking the truth. I am a young, well, I'm 36, 37 now. I'm still a young black man, educated, 
did not come from money, but I live my life by love. I live my life with Christ, and I can see through all of these lies because God reveals the glory that we should know. He is the glory. He is the one we should live for. He is the one who paid our debts. This is a temporary place here, guys. You need to know Christ. If you don't know Christ, open your word because your word, his word is saying everything that's going on right now. Everything. Anyway, I've hit 30 minutes and I'm done. 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 This is the end of episode 177. Comment below. Let me know what you think because I just went on. Oh, I am your boy, Christian Israel, and you are tuned into the new Christian Capital Podcast. This is the place where we discuss what happens in the world today, the stock market, and yes, digital assets. This is the one-stop shop for you to get everything that you need for your day, for your Christ and crypto. Because as I love to say, Jesus makes you a new you by giving you a new future because in him, you are a new creation, guys. Please remember, God loves you. I love you. You are loved. Until next time, guys, peace and love. God bless you guys all. Later, guys. Thank <laughs> you.